Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hooker With It. Today is the nursery tour. I am so excited. It is finished, we are done. And we're ready for baby girl to arrive. So the truth of the matter is, is that baby girl is not going to be in here for the first little while of her life. We've got a bassinet. So she'll be staying in there, um, close to her mama, so that breastfeeding is easier if I'm lucky enough to breastfeed. But when she grows up a little tiny bit, um, she'll stay in the nursery. And I'm so excited to finally show you guys what we've been really busy working on um, for many, many months now. So I thought I would give you an initial look at the room. Here it is in all its glory. So many windows. I really love this room. We always knew that this would be the nursery. So overall, what I really wanted this room to convey is calm. There's not a lot of color in here, you might have noticed. The walls are gray, the walls are Benjamin Moore. Um, moonshine, which is in our downstairs as well. We just love this color. Um, and, you know, we just wanted it to be gray and white and blue and just relaxing. That's the whole point of the room. Toys in and of themselves are super, super bright. So I thought, let's just have everything else be neutral and calm and maybe a good spot for baby girl to sleep. We should probably start with the crib. The crib was something that I've been looking at for a very long time. It's Jenny Lind crib, just in white. It's simple, it's not overly expensive, but we were really excited to get this crib. We've got a little doll in here that Barry's Aunt Marilyn actually knitted, which is gorgeous. Obviously, the doll will not stay in. When baby girl is sleeping in there, um, we'll keep it, you know, clean and tidy. There won't be anything in there when she's sleeping, but I love that doll so much. And then we've also got this beautiful blanket uh, that I found on Chapters. It's Little Unicorn um, and it's these blue uh, flowers. You'll see a lot of blue in this room. I know I'm having a girl, but for some reason there's a lot of blue that I wanted in the room. I know I'm a bit different, but who cares? Really, it's, uh, it's my choice and I'm hoping my baby girl will embrace all of the colors. Speaking of colors, we were really lucky to have so many friends and family create these hand knit and handmade blankets. This is from Barry's side of the family and then my dear friend Rachel also knit or crocheted on one of these blankets. These prints are also super important to us. Um, I found this poppy which I thought was beautiful and um, this quote from Nora Ephron means a lot to me. It says, above all, be the heroine of your life, not the victim. I think that's a good mantra for every little girl to have, so we put that above her crib too. And then we definitely needed more storage, so I got these storage cubes from Ikea. I think they're called Scub, and it just houses things like carriers, mementos, photos, um, and trackers for how she's doing throughout the month. And I think they're super handy. Now I'm sitting where I would sit with the baby. Um, this is my nursing chair. I'm sure you guys are familiar familiar with it because it is also my library chair. This chair will end up over in the library in the long run, but I need a spot to nurse and I love, I love this chair. It's from Pier 1 and I'm totally into it. The side table is really simple. That was also from Ikea. In truth, I don't love this side table. It's fine. It will do. Um, but I'm, I'm not obsessed with it. I think it was like $40 or something like that. Um, and if we can upgrade that at some point, I think I would like to. Uh, the table lamp is from HomeSense. And it's just a little spot to like put a drink down, maybe a cup of coffee here and there, um, and uh, nurse baby girl. 
I've also got lots of muslin cloths beside me as well as the haka. So I am all set for nursing baby girl. Everything is close at hand. And of course, if she wants to read, we've got plenty of books to choose from. There are many more in the closet and many more in um, the library as well. So she will never go without plenty of stuff to read. So just a couple of steps away is our dresser. We've got a changing table on top of the dresser so that I can change baby girl pretty easily. This is from Skip Hop. Okay, it's time to look in the dresser. This is the first drawer, and I got these little cubby things from Ikea. I think they're called Scub, and I really love them. So in the first drawer, we have my breast pads because that'll be necessary. Some binkies, uh, lots and lots of socks, diapers, necessity of course, and then things like baby lotion, hand sanitizer, and then this cool wipes dispenser. It's weighted, I love it. Now the second drawer is where we're gonna house most of her clothing. We've got sleepers. These are all zero to three. And long sleeve onesies and short sleeve onesies too. Pants. And then we've got one just for newborn clothing. I don't think she'll be in them long because she's measuring pretty big. Now in the last drawer, there is more clothing, mostly sleep stuff, um, and then hats and that kind of thing. So we've got her swaddles here. I've only got two so far. Um, and then lots and lots of sleep sacks. And then plenty of knitted hats. And then bibs and more hats. Right beside the dresser and the changing table, we've got our diaper pail. So this is the Ubi diaper pail. Apparently it's much better at like containing the stench. Uh, so that's why we went with the Ubi. Now above the Ubi, we've got these two prints that we got eons ago, like well before we were married, I think. So these are sketched prints, a little bear, a little rabbit, and they make me so happy. Now, in truth, the closet is not like hella organized. It's organized enough for me. We've got all of her clothes arranged from like zero to three up until, I don't even know, 12 to 18 months, the stuff we've decided to hang for now. Hooks for the actual clothes to tell you what size they, that's there, which is really nice. Um, of course, we've got more books at the top um, and then storage stuff at the top as well. So we've got um, clothes that will uh, fit her after 12 months and then we've also got all of my breast pump stuff up there which I still have to learn what in the world I'm doing with. Down below we've got um, Ubi diaper plastic bags and toys and then we have this storage kit down here that is really helpful. I've organized all of the clothes from like three to six months all the way to nearly a year. So we can just swap out clothes when we're ready. And then of course we've got her hamper. So this is the nursery. I hope that you guys have liked this video. Um, let me know in the comments below 
if you have any kids, what colors did you pick for your nursery? And I will talk with you soon, okay?